All right, guys, in the last video, we made it so that we could fetch our recipes from the database. And you can click this little button here, and it'll show us all the info. All right, so what we want to do now is we want to be able to add recipes through the application. So first thing we'll do is I want to just have a, a button up above here. So let's go right under the body tag here. And we're going to create a button. And let's say type equals button. And then we're going to give it a class of BTN, BTN primary, and also BTN block. All right. And then we're going to say data, uh, data toggle. Okay. Because this is going to be, this is going to open up a modal. So we want to set that to modal. And then we also want to set data target is let's set that to form modal. All right, actually, we want to have a hashtag symbol here. All right, and then let's end the button. And this will just say add recipe. All right, let's take a look at that. Okay, so I want to put a line break underneath it as well. All right, there we go. So for the modal, let's go to our get bootstrap and go to JavaScript and we want modal. So here's an example. This is what we have. Okay, you can see it has data target and data toggle. So what I'll do is copy this. Oops. Let's copy that. And I'm going to put this down at the bottom. And you want to make sure that you're outside of the recipes tag here. So we'll paste that in. Let's say add form modal. And we're going to change a few things here. Um, the ID is going to be form modal. Make sure it matches the target we put above. And then for the label, we'll say form modal label. And let's see, modal header. Let's change this right here, this title. We'll change that to add recipe. All right, and then let's see, this is where the body will go. The footer is where the buttons are. So I'm going to put my form tag right under the modal content div right here. All right, and then the ending form tag. Let's see, where does that end? Actually, you know what I'm going to do is change this to HTML. All right, and then the content div ends right there, so we want to put the form tag right here. All right, now for the form tag, we're going to give it a method attribute. Method is going to be post. All right. And then the action we're going to have go to slash add. All right. And then we need to start to add our inputs. Those are going to go in the body right here. Now I'm going to paste this in. Okay, so we just have a couple form group divs and inside there we have a label. This is the recipe name. We have an input which has the name of name. Then we have ingredients, which is a text area. Name is ingredients. And then this is also another text area for directions. So those are our inputs. Now what we need to do is inside the footer, we need to put the correct buttons. All right, so this one here. Uh, let's see. That's the close button. We can actually just keep that the way it is. This one here, we're going to change to an input. And we're going to say type equals submit. OK, we can keep the same class. Um, this is, is going to have a self close tag like that. And we'll say value is going to equal save. Uh, we'll say save changes. 
No, no, we'll just say save. All right, save that. And let's see if it works. I'm going to restart the application. Okay, we'll go to reload, add recipe, and there it is. We have our form. Awesome. So when we submit it, it's going to make a post request to slash add. So we now have to create that route. So let's go back to app.js. And we're going to have app.post. This is going to be slash add. And this will be function. It's going to take rec res. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy what we have here. Okay, because we want this same thing. We want to connect. Uh, but what we don't want is a select query. We want an insert query. So what I'm going to do is uh, let's see you know what I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get rid of this whole thing all right so we'll do our query client dot query and that's gonna be insert into recipes okay we want to insert a name ingredients and directions all right and then we're going to say values and we're going to put some placeholders in here all right so we're going to say dollar sign one dollar sign two and dollar sign three all right and then after this double quote we're going to put a comma and then open some square brackets all right and then this is where we're going to add our um, values from the form all right so first one will be rec dot body dot name rec dot body dot ingredients and directions Okay, and these are going to replace these placeholders here. Okay, and it's not going to give us anything back because it's an insert. So we want to go right underneath. And we're going to say done. And then we want to redirect. And we'll just redirect to slash. Okay, so hopefully that'll work. Let's um, restart this. Okay, and then we'll reload. Let's say add recipe. And let's say corned beef hash. And then for the ingredients, um, I'm just going to, you know what I'll do is just grab some sample content. Okay, so I'll grab this, paste that in, paste that in, and just change it up a little bit. All right, and then save, and there it is, corned beef hash. If we click on that, we get the rest of it. Awesome, so that was pretty easy. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how we can delete recipes.